Well, day off from work. Full day of farming today. Still planting corn. If we push hard, we could get done today. As long as the planter doesn't break down. But we could get done tomorrow too. So I've got a day off today. So, and then tomorrow, most of the day off. And Ethan's out of school today. Check the oil. Oil is full. Always check the oil on the tractor. Doesn't run good without oil. Then <clears throat> I'm going to even the boxes out, get the tractor warming up, and uh, then we'll get the planting. There's a little sight gauge in here you check for oil, for hydraulic oil. It was full. And so we'll get the tractor warming up and start the day. Planting. Planting. We are rolling. Just have that much left. Probably about 25 acres on this field. And uh, it's going in well. Like I, I knock on knock on wood. No breakdowns today. We really haven't had very many breakdowns. Just some, you know, some annoying things about the planter, which you always have. Like I got one gauge, I don't know what's wrong with it. It isn't reading anything, but the planter's planting. So anyways, let's keep moving. Ethan is coming to relieve me. Ethan's coming here to take my place. I'll let him probably finish this and I may need to bring him seed. And uh, we'll go do some other stuff. Actually, I don't know how exciting these video, my video is of the planter actually working, but it sure is more fun to farm. Like, I suppose YouTube videos would be better if uh, something was really wrong, but man, it's gone well. This, this, maybe, maybe it, uh, maybe the YouTube video is the, is the jinx proof way to make sure a planter works, I don't know. All the rows are saying they're planting even now. I, I don't know what the deal is with that. It's all yours. So I'm heading to get Kaylee. She is going to help me get this uh, center pivot, this circle center pivot irrigation system. Um, we got some drops off of it. Somebody needs to hold the ladder. Bring me tools while I do it. So Kaylee's a good person to do that. And uh, Ethan's probably got another 10 acres and then we'll be on to our last irrigated cornfield. He's out there planting. Um, we're getting a lot done today. Nozzles on. We got all the nozzles on. That's not how it's supposed to work. There he goes. Done with. 
at this field. that we were just working on where we had the blowout that you saw and so I'm gonna make sure everything is working down here it appears everything is working this one's a little different it's an electric motor so you can see it's an electric motor there's no loud piece or anything I love electric motors but they cost a little bit more to run you can see the circle, the center pivot system, we call them circles for short. Some people always give me a hard time about that. They go in a circle. Give me a break. You can call them circles, you can call them center pivots. We all know what they are. And everything's rolling. 500 volts is what they run out. I'm putting on about a half inch of rain, a little more maybe. But we'll let this go around and make sure all this corn germinates at the same time. It is a little dry, but it went in moisture. But when you put all that money and seed out there and fertilizer, you want to make sure it comes up real even. And so that's what we're doing. Filling up again. Getting ready to start on our last field. 130 acres. Switching varieties of corn different varieties and this one is a uh, is kind of our old racehorse variety so we'll get the pointer filled up and get after it It's basically baby powder. It's called talc powder. It helps create like lubrication for the planter and the plates as it's planting. So it's just, it, but it's basically baby powder. You can't get it off of yourself. We are planting. We are planting our furrow irrigation or flood irrigation. And yes, I've got a sensor that I don't know, doesn't like the dust or something. As you can see, there's ditches that we're planting into now. And uh, that's that's one of the ways. This one is a shorter uh, center pivot um, because of my parents in my uncle's house. So the corners are a lot bigger. And so we actually have wells where we can furrow irrigate. And so the water will go down the row uh, when we irrigate the corners and you'll get to see that later. It's called flood irrigation or furrow irrigation depending on where you live. Um, but um, it is planting actually pretty nice and the moisture is good. I just got to try to stay on top of these, uh, we call them beds, on top of the furrows so that the seed goes in the right spot. But it's working well. Well, I'm about over half done with this. Uh, our last circle we're probably down to about 65 or 70 acres but out here this circle is kind of unique thought I'd show you this is a big we call this the tailwater pit so what that means is where you see all that flood irrigation and rainwater it'll run to this pit and then we can actually pump that back out onto the field and so it's kind of nice I did also want to show you if, if you watched, if you're part of Pathway Church, I preached several weeks back and showed a picture of uh, where I got a tractor stuck. And I'll show you that picture right now. But here is the pond where I got it stuck and there's where I got it stuck. So nothing like a memory like that, hopefully. That pond's not dry. We like it 
We don't want it over full, but we like water in there because there's around 10 acres of this field that we just pump water out of this pond to water. And so if we don't get that, obviously it'll be a little difficult to water that. So hopefully it starts raining sometime, but we're making good progress. There's our tailwater pump and everything where we pump it out. But um, I'm, I'm, uh, as I said, I think probably only about 60 acres left. Um, it's about six o'clock. Get real close to done tonight, but maybe not quite done. So turning in and starting to plant. See the planter in the ground back there. And uh, just having a good old time out here. Everything's working good. like. The camera in recording it must help you not break down, knock on wood. I do not want to break down in the last 65 acres, but sometimes that's when it happens. Um, so um, yeah, it's uh, we'll see how close we get done to done today. Another awesome sunset, not quite as great as yesterday. So still plugging away, I'm gonna go until I run out of seed. I'm gonna run in the dark tonight some, I think, and we'll just keep on a chugging along. Um, probably got 30 acres left, so probably two, two and a half hours. Should be done by 10 o'clock. One, two, three. Get the lights on, running. Well, it is 10 13 at night and i am about to wrap up corn planting for us on the elliot farm today so uh it's taken all day we started about exactly it's taken about five days um and so we've gotten a lot done but as you can see man it is dusty dusty not much to see that is all i have left and so I don't want to video when I'm on the edge though. So, um, but this will end this video. It's been a long day, lots of different stuff and we'll keep making them because we'll uh, just getting started this spring, probably start planting beans, soybeans in a probably a week or a week and a half. Hopefully it rains before uh, we fire up on the beans and uh, lots of things coming um, as we uh, kick off the growing season. So I hope you're all having a great night. I'm about to wrap mine up and we'll see you next time.